Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of can you still destroy pelicans in Halo Infinite? And what if you do? So, as you've hopefully seen from my previous videos now, my very recent ones, there is now a new method in Halo Infinite to fly pelicans in multiplayer, thanks to Oakum, who actually found this method. And using this method, we actually spawn in a campaign version of the pelican that we can actually fly around perfectly. And as you might have seen in some of my previous videos, this pelican is special because it can take damage as well. Now, when Halo Infinite first came out, the pelicans that spawned on this map, outside the map, they actually could be destroyed as well. But when they get destroyed, they just go poof and that's it. But now, with these newer pelicans, or at least these campaign versions of the pelican, they, it's, uh, well, it's slightly different. Now, with the Season 3 update, the pelicans that spawn outside the map, they can't be destroyed anymore. So only these pelicans actually can be destroyed. And as you can see there, when they get destroyed, they have a very interesting destroy effect or explosion effect or whatever you want to call that. Uh, I don't really know what to call it, but like basically when a pelican in Halo Infinite, in Halo Infinite multiplayer gets destroyed, well, I guess the explosion is just so powerful that it's just like, it just distorts space and time around it. And I, I really don't know like, why it has that effect now i i've never seen that effect before anywhere else in the game i don't know like what it's what else it's used for or where else it might be used but with the pelicans and infinite and infinite multiplayer that you can now fly around they uh they just released that weird like space-time distortion effect and it's actually a really cool effect and also on the inside you can see a small like orange ex explosion uh effect there but that's like a really like small and like basic uh, ex fake explosion effect and sometimes you can see just that that internal explosion effect that orange one because I, for some reason especially if you're doing this with like other players and multiplayer sometimes after a while that warp effect stops showing up and I don't know it could just be a glitch or something but it doesn't it doesn't always show up and I'm not exactly sure like what causes that to happen but it's a uh, it's cool still you could that you can see that other effect without the uh, the warping of space and time around it uh, but anyways, that warping of space and time, that is now the main, you know, destruction effect of the pelican. And it's, a, uh, like I said, I don't really know why it's there, but it's there. Now, as for destroying the pelican itself, if a friendly is flying the pelican, then you can't destroy it. Uh, but if they get out, then you can destroy it just fine. So just keep that in mind if you want to try this for yourself. Unless you turn friendly fire on, but by default, friendly fire is off and infinite. Now, if it's an enemy flying it, uh, you could actually shoot them out the cockpit too, because they their head actually pokes out the cockpit while they're flying it, and that's because I guess for these pelicans, we don't have the proper animations to be able to sit in a driver's seat, so the result is that we just stand up in the driver's seat or the pilot seat. But either way, as long as there's no one flying it, no friendly flying it, or there's an enemy flying it, or there's no one flying it at all then you know you can you can just blow it up just fine but it does take a lot of damage to blow up a pelican in halo infinite the only reason why i'm able to do it like relatively quickly here is because i'm using an arcane sentinel beam from campaign with a uh, unlimited ammo and bottomless clip so it can pretty much destroy a pelican like pretty fast but it's still you know it still takes a little bit to destroy it <laughs> and without this it would take quite a long time even with like rocket launchers and stuff like that but yeah, so there you guys have it. The answer to the original question is yes, you can indeed still destroy pelicans in Halo Infinite. In fact, it's been improved uh, since, you know, the first season or since launch of Halo Infinite. Uh, could have been a season three update, it could have been earlier and we just didn't know about it, but I, I don't really know for sure. But the other question of what happens if you do is that it now has a new, you know, space-time warping distortion effect if you blow up a pelican in Halo Infinite. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. And as always, if you did, make sure to leave a like. And if there's anything else you want me to look into or check out, just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get a chance. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.